New developments tonight in a storage unit fire that killed a woman and a dog in Murray. Tonight, a man is in jail after police say he actually stopped that woman from being able to escape the fire. New specialist Lauren Steinbrecher explains what happened. Yeah, Ashley, so tonight you can actually see the remnants from that fire here at Cube Smart Self Storage on 900 East. Turns out the man police say is responsible for this, uh, for the woman and dog's deaths, has a troubling history. He had just been released from jail before this happened. From the car wash, employees could see something was wrong Saturday. So they just looked outside the window and saw all the smoke coming up, and so they decided to call the fire department since no one was there yet. After car wash workers called for help, crews quickly arrived to find six storage units on fire with the horrifying discovery in one, a woman and dog that didn't survive. Police quickly figured out the woman was locked in with no way to escape. Car wash employees again helping with the case with this surveillance from just minutes before the blaze started. We were able to manage uh, some footage of just uh, a little sliver of him coming up over the fence for just walking by past. According to the affidavit of probable cause, the man officers arrested, 30-year-old Alexander Wardell, told police the woman was his girlfriend and that the female was in the unit when he closed the door to the unit, putting a lock into the door and left the area. While the male left the area, the unit caught on fire and due to the lock being in the door, the female was unable to flee from the fire. A look into Wardell's past shows he's on probation for two domestic violence cases against a past ex-girlfriend and has violated the terms of his probation too many times to count. The most recent leading to an arrest warrant just three days ago, but he bonded out of jail the very same day. This time, there is no bail for allegedly locking in his girlfriend and leaving her to die. Yeah, and in this case, uh, Wardell will be facing charges of negligent homicide, kidnapping, violating probation. Now, the Murray Fire Department telling me today they are not quite sure how this fire started. So that's another question we have. Do police think that he might also be to blame for that? We're hoping to get some of those answers in the coming days. Ashley. Yeah, some absolutely troubling allegations. We'll continue to follow this story. Mm -hmm. Lauren, thank you.